Hi. Everybody knows. Everybody knows me as the. It's because it's so close. It doesn't feel normally this close. Everybody knows me as the lady on social media who teaches you how to clean everything. But today I'm actually here to talk about paint because what your house is made up of matters. Every day my DMs are full of people asking me why their walls look like shit. And the truth of the matter is, is actually that paint quality and paint sheen truly matter when you're trying to keep your house looking clean. Some paint sheens have no business on walls and some paint sheens have no business on baseboards or trim. So you, when you're gonna paint, you need to do some research because that's gonna save you tons of time and tons of money. Today's gonna be fun because we're gonna go through the different types of paint sheens and show you how easy they are to clean. We went with a mid-level quality paint, so not the most expensive and not the cheapest. We wanted a nice like mid-level baseline and then we changed up all of the sheens for the paint but the color stayed the same. We did two coats of primer and two coats of paint because this needs to be fair playing ground. Now we're going to mess up each sheen from flat to high gloss and then show you how they clean up. So I've like got some, a little bit of grease on my hands, like oil, and then I've dipped it into some dirt from the backyard. Cause I just want to create like dirty, greasy fingerprints, but I don't want to overdo it either because you know, like we aren't going to use a Sasquatch mud paw hand to wipe on a wall even though I have seen that in people's houses. That's exactly what a dirty handprint looks like on a wall. So I just have some like straight up cover girl makeup here and we're, because I'd be fun. What we're doing is the most common stuff that we wipe off of walls at clients' houses, and it's usually like greasy makeup prints, obviously just greasy fingerprints, and whatever we kind of think is gonna look best. So see, and then like this is might not be such an obvious stain, but it's an oily stain. So we're gonna be able to see if the how that lifts off of the paint. Now we're gonna do lipstick just for funsies because it's also greasy. And we're also letting this sit into the paint because nobody goes and like wipes off the dirt immediately after it happens. Now, like all stains, it's important to let them sit when we're recreating stuff because nobody wipes up the stain immediately after it happens. So we're gonna let these like marinate for a little while, then we're gonna wash the walls. So for continuity sake, we're just gonna use our small batch of Thai recipe and this is what we use on walls in thousands of people's homes. And this is just like warm water. And we'll mix it up so that it dissolves in here. And we're going to also use a new cloth on each wipe because that's only fair. It's really important to use like a textured microfiber cloth. See how it has these little nubbies because it gets into the groove on the paint. Starting with flat paint. So this is the cheapest paint and builders love this paint. It's just a lower quality and we'll see how it wipes. Sometimes when we wipe like builder quality or build like spec houses, we give it a wipe on the wall and the paint will come right off. So there's our dirt, but looks pretty good. We'll have to compare, right? Okay, now we're onto eggshell paint, which is generally kind of the most popular paint that people use in their homes. Oh, and it already is so much smoother. And I'll just back away so you can see the color. Just to, like, also look at how the, the moisture soaks into this paint, whereas this paint, it sits on top when it dries. I don't know if that really matters, but it just, to me, I know that this can dry with white, like seeing it dry, it would dry with white marks. Fresh cloth, and now we're on to satin. And lots of people like, oh, like a satin finish because of that. Wow, came off. If you haven't tried our Thai recipe, this is your sign to do it. Now we're on to semi-gloss. So we're getting, like these paints are smoother like easier to wipe as they get higher end and higher quality. But also when you paint with like a semi or a high gloss paint, it shows a lot of imperfections. So make sure you know what you're doing if you're gonna paint with these types of paints. You can see my fingerprints on that, perfect. 
Now we're on high gloss and you want a professional to paint this. It's a tricky paint to use. Even if you just pen up here, look at, see how we have kind of a little bit of a met wonk in the uh, jib board here. It shows every little flaw. So it's really something, it's hard to paint with. That's all it is, it's gonna show everything. So let's see how it cleans up because it's gonna be easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. Moving on to the makeup on the flat paint. So we got the dirt off, looks pretty good, but this, we're gonna wipe it, but it almost like, I just really wanna compare like how it feels. Oh, see, that's not coming off. It's way greasier as much. We'll wipe it a few times, but I think to be fair, should we wipe everything three times? Two times? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, whatever, it can kind of came off, but I feel like there's gonna be a grease stain maybe. We'll see. Uh, this really feels almost like a chalkboard. Whereas as we move up the ladder with the higher gloss paints, they're smoother and that, and like smoother to wipe, but also that means they're gonna be harder to ding the wall on the paint. Now we're on eggshell here, which is a fan favorite. This is eggshell is what I have on the walls of my house here. Easy to clean. All right, now we're on to satin, which is kind of middle of the road. And it's just easy to wipe off. Oh. Now we're on to semi-gloss. See how much easier this is to wipe. But again, it's just shinier, smoother. And now for the high gloss, this is the highest finish and the most expensive paint, but watch that with one wipe. We're on the flat paint again. This is the lipstick, so it might be a little harder to remove. Might have to rub a little bit. I think to be fair, should we wipe everything three times? That's as good as it's gonna get. Now we're on to eggshell. This poor sad guy. Maybe the moral of the story is don't draw on your walls with lipstick. <laughs> okay. Satin finish. Oh yeah, that's way coming off way easier. This one is semi-gloss. Oh, way easier to wipe. Now we are on to high gloss paint. Oh, like butter. Look at that. Still on there though. Okay, let's let those dry. So today I've shown you the cleanability of different types of paint sheens. And that's really important when you're thinking about investing in like painting your whole entire house. Plus I have a home reno guide that's going to tell you that we just dropped. I'll put the link in the description, but it like gives you all of the information that we've learned from cleaning thousands of homes and what type of surfaces are the easiest and most durable and long lasting so that you can spend your time doing fun stuff and not cleaning your house all the time. Plus, one thing that I wanna know from you guys is, you can drop it in the comments, is what is your favorite paints that you've used? What's the favorite brands? What's the favorite finishes? Cause we wanna keep testing these out and then showing you so to save you the time and the money.